Hi, I'm Nancy Westfall, the stencil designer behind The Colorful Cookie. I'm excited to be here to talk to you about the iCut cutting system from Icing Images. I'd like to show you everything that you'll be receiving with the iCut cutting system purchase. Now let's get your Cricut machine set up. Plug the square end of the USB cord into the back of the Cricut machine, then plug the rectangle end into your computer. Plug the round end of the power cord into the back of the Cricut machine, then plug the power cord into the outlet. Now you need to register your Cricut machine and set up your Cricut ID. Go to cricut.com setup on your internet browser. Follow the instructions on your screen to log in or to create a Cricut.com account. The website will walk you through connecting your machine and the steps that it takes to set up your Cricut ID. Download and install the Design Space software and or the Flash plugins when prompted. And remember to claim your free images, fonts, and ready-to-make projects. You will know the setup process is complete when you are prompted to make your first cut. Cut your first project and begin designing your own culinary creations. You can also download the PDF with clickable ready-made projects, Cricut Access images, and a trial Cricut Access subscription, which has over 50,000 images, tons of fonts, and ready-made projects. Now let's get that machine ready to cut by setting a custom cut setting. Click the three bars in the upper left-hand side of the screen, and then click Manage Custom Materials. Select your Cricut device from the pull-down menu. Scroll down to the bottom and click on Add New Material. Type the name of your new custom material Click Save, then on your cut setting, turn the cut pressure all the way up to 350. Select two times and click Save again. You'll see your new cut settings at the bottom. Scroll back up to the top and click the X to close out of that window Choose the project that you're ready to cut, and you can click Make It or Customize. If you chose Customize, you will need to click Make It again. Click Continue. Select your Cricut device. And now let's mark your material as a favorite. Click on Favorites and browse all materials. Choose all categories and then My Materials. Click on the star to mark your material as a favorite. Click the X to close the window and now you will see your Food Safe stencil material marked as a favorite. Let's cut the stencil. Set the dial on your Cricut machine to custom, 
so that we can use the custom cut setting we just created. Remove the protective cover from the cutting mat and place your stencil material on the mat, lining it up with the grid. Insert the Cricut mat under the mat guides. Push the blinking arrow to load the mat Then push the blinking C. Now watch your stencil creation appear magically right before your eyes. Push the blinking arrow to remove the mat from the machine. Carefully remove your stencil material from the mat. And here's your finished stencil. Now let's cut the vinyl stencil. Turn the smart dial on your Cricut machine to vinyl, which is at 12 o'clock. Remove the protective cover from your mat and place your vinyl material on your mat, lining it up with the grids. Insert the Cricut mat under the mat guides and push the blinking arrow to load the mat. Then in the software, choose the project that you'd like to cut. Push the C when it begins to blink. Push a blinking arrow to remove the mat from the Cricut machine. Use your weeding tool to remove the parts that you don't want. And here's the finished vinyl stencil. If you need help learning to use your new iCut cutting system, join us in the Colorful Cookie Club. Go to thecolorfulcookie.com slash club to learn the details. You do receive a one month membership with your purchase of the iCut cutting system. Let me help you master this machine. I can't wait to see you there.